Hi folks, just a little experiment I've got set up. I'm just going to uh, turn the air on, it's at, it's at three bar. I'm just going to slowly turn the little tap. See the. The air is uh, providing a cushion around there. And, and um, if I just tip this up. Get a vibration. If I get a little pipette with some water in. So what's happening? It's leaking around this bit of graphite here. So instead of putting all the thrust onto the face and onto this face, it's let's try and get it to stand up. It's, as soon as it's touching the rotor, it's, it's leaking out. So put that on there. Their bearings are uh, a lot more porous than the last ones. I'll just show you. I wish I could do the video for the last ones because they weren't they were anything like that. So the trick is if you want a thrust base. You have to encapsulate the this bit into to some sort of uh, housing, whether that be metal or plastic. It's up to you. Um, you can direct the airflow so. So if I just get the housing, I'm just going to turn the air off. It's hard to do all this one handed. I don't think it really matters what position they're in, but I'm going to put them at the bottom. Work better, better for the last ones, but so I'll just turn the air back on. So you can see it's not, it's certainly not frictionless. Um, but what is actually, what is stopping that from from being frictionless? And turn up the pressure a little bit. That's it. About three and a half bar now. So it's pretty quiet. So what I'm seeing here is that the, the actual axle is free, but the thrust face is right there. All the air is just leaking out there. 
So instead of instead of creating a, a nice air cushion for the for the rotor to sit against, instead we've now got friction between the bearing graphite. I, mean, I can feel that on my fingers. And uh, yeah, in fact, I'm just going to try. So, what's well, been suggested to me uh, by the uh, uh, newest member of the team, Graham, the engineer from Brighton, is that we put some super glue on the uh, on the graphite face. It's a bit of a budge, but he has come up with a better design that. Um, but we need to do that on. But for now, just to make this design work, could be could be a good way forward. So we'll give it a go. And then, just in case you didn't know, this is where the rotor was balanced there and there. This is so that the the faces, the end plates, um, didn't need any material taken off them. So managed to keep the symmetry. So all we need to do now is sort that, that thrust. So once that's sorted, we should have completely frictionless. And if we can get a big enough fr thrust face, then um, it can only go as big as where the weight's taken off. Um, then we'll, we should be able to hold the weight of the rotor in any position, whether that's horizontally or vertically, and uh, we will then have a nearly frictionless design. So it's getting close, but it's just not quite there yet. But uh, happy birthday to uh, Nikola Tesla, by the way. Um, he would be 164 today. So um, I'll do a little update when I've. Um, super glued these and uh, we'll see where we are then. Adios amigos!